Hi, this is Teresa Lego Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. I thought I'd do a quick video on how to do the herringbone technique. Firstly, my piece of basic white card is 10, 10 centimetres by 14.8 and turning it landscape on the top I'm measuring up to 1.5 centimetres and on the bottom, 8.5 centimetres. And I'm just going to draw a very faint line joining up those dots. My next step is to actually cut some DSP. And we're using Beauty of the Earth designer series paper today. And I'm just going to pull out some sheets And I'm bringing over my paper trimmer. Now with the paper trimmer, I'm a centimetres girl, metric girl, but when I'm cutting DSP thin strips, I actually like to use um, inches as well. So I'm actually going to go to the three quarter inch line and I'm just counting up one, two, three. So one, two, three, and then cut. So I'm going to do that with the other sheets as well. One, two, three. And so sometimes when you used to one measurement system, it's, sometimes it's easier to use the other one. Well, I have got some cut already from a previous card that I've done. Get my other strips which are here. Right, so my first job is to actually put some um, adhesive along that line that I've drawn. And I'm going to start off with I think this nice blue pattern. Just overlapping the edge of the cardstock just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut the excess off. My next strip is actually going to come off at a diagonal line and I'm aiming for that corner to the left of that corner. Which I'm happy with that placement and then I'm actually just going to use a pencil just to draw in that line just so I know exactly where to put the adhesive. Now I'm just leaving a couple of millimetres gap and just trying to make sure that it's evenly spaced. It doesn't matter that I haven't lined it up perfectly with that previous line that I've pencil drawn in. So now I'm just going to trim that. going to have a look at this strip I really like it tones in the greens and also the blues and so just measure that 
draw a faint line. And the line is only really there just so I, as a guide for where to put the tape. I'll try and get the same spacing. So one, two, three patterns. This is my fourth pattern. And even though it hasn't got very much green in it, it ties in the blues nicely. Okay, so just a quick paint line. The reason I'm using some snail is I've got quite a few refills still to use up. Trim that off. Now, I've got three strips. I'm actually going to be changing direction with the leftover strips. Now I'm going to start with this pattern here. this one actually coming off this direction just like that and then just lining it up so it's evenly spaced with that edge Now my next pattern is this one here. Now it leaves just a little triangle which we will fill in. And for that little corner, I'm actually just going to be, use a bit of glue. I'm not being a bit heavy handed. So hopefully it won't smoosh out too much. It has it's come out the top, but that's okay. So I'm going to turn it this way. The next pattern I will use is the green, which is... darker green it's the end of that uh, it's there. Uh, so it is this one. So I'm just turn it around sideways. Put the tape there. On here and because I've used both ends I'm just going to line it up on there like that and I'm going to just cut it with a paper trimmer cut along that pencil line You probably can see me doing that. All right. Oh, and 
I made it too small because I've used the wrong end. That's okay, I can fix that easily enough. And this is the side that I wanted and I've stuffed that as well. So what I'm going to do is just take that to the trimmer, cut that off. And now I've got a straight line again to start with. do them at the same time and then for this little triangle here I'm going to use that blue and for that little triangle there I will use that blue I've got a little bit of leftovers that I can use that there for and for that small small space I will use the multi-purpose glue, which is really my preferred glue. Now, for this little triangle, the piece that I cut, I'll just trim that a little bit. And that can fit in there nicely like that. Just the little dob. dry before I attempt to cut it. Now I'm just going to take it back to the paper trimmer and just um, even up those edges. me doing this on the paper trimmer. If I put it up this end you will be able to. And that just gives me nice clean edges. That's now ready to have a sentiment. Sentiment I'm going to use today is called Thanks, and it's from a hand penned stamp set. I used it earlier, I'll just give it a quick clean. I'll paste this in my stamparatus, make sure that stamp's nice and dry. that up and using misty moonlight stamp that. I like it a bit more of an intense colour than that so I'm just going to re-stamp it. Beautiful. Now it's ready to be mounted on the base card.
and there we are finished. Thought I would show you some other herringbone cards that I've made. And so this one was on my blog the other day and it is using um, the Christmas um, Tidings of Christmas DSP. This one is using the same papers but a different look. With this one, which is very similar to this one, I started with a base square and then worked my pattern around it. That's using um, Pattern Party DSP. And the same with this. This is the square here and the flowers are over that square. And then the patterned paper is around it. This was my first attempt. I started with a square. Um, it's usually using beautifully penned DSP, but also um, the hand pen DSP, just that one square to contrast the rest of the card. So I've started with one square and done strips or different sizes. You, you might notice in some of the other cards, all the strips are um, three quarters of an inch or well, this one's an inch. Um, but they're all the same size. On this one, I decided to do a little bit different and try different size strips. And lucky last, this is using um, the papers from the Elegantly Said bundle. And on this one too, I use different size strips. And it just gives you a bit of a different contrast. Thanks for watching this video. Um, this is my first one, so please be gentle with me. I'd love to hear your comments. Bye.